Hi. So, you know, it's again that time of the year, uh, come month of December and you start looking back, looking forward. And uh, one of the things which I've been doing last couple of years is to try to see what's coming up in the world of social media, digital media in the coming year. And uh, we'll try to do it again this time. So here are uh, some five big thoughts which I have for looking ahead, uh, looking ahead on digital and social media for the year 2014. And the first one, in fact, is uh, comes out in the way this is being delivered uh, this year. Uh, last couple of years, I have been doing a blog around this subject, and this time, as you can see, it's happening on video, and which is in fact the first key trend that video will be big video will continue to be large in the coming year any form of interesting rich media content infographics all of these are going to be hot property and that's your first trend which let's let's look forward to that happening in 2014 the second one you know as we think of 2014 the second thing which we cannot sort of disregard rather which is sort of top of the mind is the fact that 2014 is election year and yes we've already got the state elections going we've got these humongous 75 percent turnouts at the elections in the states so it's definitely going to be a big big year as far as elections go but what's that got to do with digital or social media everything uh, i'm sure candidates and parties are going to pretty much go big time on social media and including some of them going a little crazy. I mean, the recent events of Cobra Post and the exposure and the blue virus and everything is but an indication of things to come. There's a lot of half knowledge out there and one can, uh, one can be, uh, one, one can think that it's so easy a medium that, you know, let's just set up a bunch of accounts and start attacking our opponent or whatever and other such crazy things can be thought of as easy to do except that as we see these get exposed and a lot of madness comes out but that's going to happen you know like it or not there's going to be big time advertising happening from candidates and from parties and considering the tight elections that a lot of seats are going to be nobody wants to give away this space so you cover your television you cover your print you cover your hoardings your morchas your uh, you know, whatever else, but in addition to that, you will also make sure that you are covered on digital as well. And so you're going to see digital playing a big role uh, in elections and agencies and other partners also participating in that space. But what else? What's the third thing? The, uh, the third thing as we look ahead today or other look at the current situation is relevant to where we are in the economy. Now, it, while there is elections and other, you know, let us say bullish activities coming up, the reality is also that by and large, the economy is in a tough situation. Now, when economy is bad, when infrastructure projects are not going that rapidly, when money is tight, what happens to brands? They are not able to do their very expensive television commercials and big print campaigns. But that, in turn, is leading a lot of them onto digital platforms because they still need to get word out to their consumers. If they can't spend multi-crore campaigns on, uh, on mainline, they're going to spend at least a couple of crores on digital. And we're already seeing that. We are seeing pretty much all of our existing clients increasing their budgets. And we are seeing briefs coming in for new client pitches where they are saying that the, num the budget for digital is extremely large as a percentage and as an absolute number of their marketing budget. So that's the trend, especially on account of the challenging economy. But that brings me to the fourth uh, idea, the fourth trend, is that because of where we are in the whole social media journey and also because now the budgets for digital and social mar media marketing are coming with an intent of a purpose that they want to achieve through digital and social 
what they could not achieve or could are finding it hard to achieve through other mainline and traditional channels which is a business goal so the early days of social media which saw just brands kind of getting fascinated by the space and going out and creating facebook pages and creating a whole lot of likes the maturity has now come in where one is starting to look at how does this all add up to business how can i meet my sales targets how can i reduce my customer service and and that's happening as well i mean that's the 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 fact is that digital is delivering those goals for them in fact uh, amazing you know uh, just a couple of days back we were with a real estate client of ours and he shared data from their back end analytics and records that uh, 35% of their new sales came through digital channels 35% of new sales for a real estate brand a large real estate brand coming through digital channels now if that is the fact would he, would he not invest potentially 35% of his marketing budget onto this space and if he does we we're, we're going far ahead of the times when digital budgets were 5% and 8% or 3% and now they are putting it because the numbers are coming i mean we are soon going to be a 100 million facebook country with that kind of a size brands will want to spend more and will also want to see how their spends convert to business goals so a focus towards business goals is going to be the fourth big trend and which leads me to the fifth trend which according to me and which is simply this that paisa feko tamasha dekho right so we, it's not going to happen without spending money uh, whether it's on account of the fact that facebook is not going to allow you access to your fan base without you spending money or the fact that twitter is going to allow uh, or has already enabled promoted tweets and this and that or instagram will start uh you know experimenting with advertising it is very clear the days of the free lunch are gone forever so if you believe that digital is the root social is the root to your uh, to your audience your consumer base it doesn't come for free yes you can do better than others you can do engagements which are a little better you can get noticed better you can create a different kind of a brand persona there but it doesn't come for free you got to put money out there and put the more you put the better engagement the better connections which you're going to get and that's a taken so let's accept that as a reality so all these are uh, the five top things which i think are going to happen in coming 2014 i continue to remain extremely excited about this space i'm looking forward to a great 2014 i hope you guys are also wish you a good new year